Welcome back everyone. I'm going to try something different here. Well, kind of different. I actually did this a few years ago in a video, but I'm going to do it now with this tube amplifier. I'm going to power it up using this LM1875 amplifier. And when I say power it up, I mean it's actually going to act as a power supply for this. What's going to happen is I'll have the SIGGEN or the FIELTEC SIGGEN set for 60 Hz going to the input of the amplifier. The output would come over here to a step up transformer and go on in to the amplifier. At this point I should mention a few cautions. I wouldn't do this with any good amplifier because you have a transformer with very low DC resistance on its primary which the amplifier is feeding. High inductance and if the load breaks or something comes disconnected a spark, you might see a little spark between the conductors. Well that's going to be a large inductive kick causing that. And some of that energy is going to go back to the amplifier's output transistors and could potentially destroy the amplifier. But I have taken precautions against that and we'll talk about that in a moment. Other precautions are regardless of where your source energy is coming from the secondary is going to be at line voltages and can be dangerous also in the tube amplifier which takes that line voltage and boosts it up even higher there are dangers but at least it's isolated line voltage because it's not you know grounded to earth on any side how about I turn the white balance back to auto it was looking kind of yellowish there but anyway the reason for doing this is just for fun just you know kind of an experiment I guess but to do this right and protect the amplifier, you want to use an amplifier that has thermal and current limit. The LM1875 I'm using has an advanced protection called safe operating area for the output transistors. And it also has built-in diodes that connect from the positive rail to the output, from the output to the negative rail in reverse bias. So what happens if a large inductive spike kicks some voltage and current back? If this goes beyond the supply rails, it will conduct out through those supply rails instead of into the amplifier. I'm using a snubber here. It looks kind of like what they call the Bouchero cell. I believe that's how it's pronounced. But this is really a snubber network to help shunt some of that spike to ground and a small resistance here reduces the intensity of it you know this the spike could have uh, several amps of current and on the secondary I'm also using a snubber here and the idea is with higher voltage you have a larger spike but much less current and it's easy to snubberize that with the capacitor resistor circuit here now selecting the values for a snubber network is a little more involved. You'd have to do some tests with the oscilloscope. And you notice there's a resistor in series. If it was just a capacitor, you know, you have a capacitor and an inductance here and that could cause ringing. You need a dissipative element to, you know, get rid of the energy as heat and that will damp down your oscillation. It ruins what's known as the Q of the circuit. You want to uh, dissipate as much of that energy as you can without ringing, but you know get the peak pulse of that spike as low as you can. So it's kind of a trade-off of you know how much ringing and uh, getting that spike as low as possible by selecting the correct values here. Okay, I have the FieldTech powered up, set for 60 Hertz. Fortunately, the screen is so bright you can't see it with the camera. Uh, this is the power supply feeding the amplifier. 
Of course, the amplifier goes to the transformer. And right now we're connected through these wires to the 15 watt bulb, 120 volt 15 watt bulb. The amplifier draws about 30 watts, but this is good enough to test. So when I turn the output of the field tech on, it lights up the bulb. Okay, let's hook up the amplifier and see what happens. Okay, so now I connected the output to the input here, the uh, power cord on the amplifier. Speakers connected the amplifier, we have an input source. So when I turn the field tech on, the pilot light should light up. There it goes. And well, I can see the filaments glowing already, right there. Cut the power now. I'm sure people are going to ask what song that is. That's a group called Botany Bay. Something you can find on Jamendo. Songs called Feel. Well, that's it, really. Pretty basic demonstration. Didn't get real hot, wasn't on very long. And a special happy birthday to Snickers, who is now 12 years old. I don't know his exact birth date, but judging by his age when I got him in 2006, he was already a few months old. So I figured he was born sometime in February. And Snickers is going back to bed.